Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So today I've got three dropshipping stores to show you. Each one of these stores has done over seven figures in revenue in the past 12 months. Um, I have done videos like this in the past and you guys seem to enjoy them. So I've got three brand new stores to go through with you. We're gonna be looking at their best selling products, their sites, and the kind of things then that we can steal from them and integrate into our own stores. Now before we jump into it, just a very quick message. As always in every single video, I'm giving away a free one-to-one -one call with me. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do then for your weekly chance to win that. And to enter the competition then, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is simply hit that like button below this video and leave a comment down below. In terms of your comment, it could be whatever you want, just comment ecom or some sort of question. I do answer every single question. So if there is something you want to ask me, um, then I will get back to you. Finally, all you have to do is tune into my next video, which will now be tomorrow, so Wednesday, um, where the winner will be announced. Now with that being said, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it and let's get straight into it. Store number one then is a pretty cool store to be honest as they only sell two different products and it's built on the back of Apple. Um, the two products they sell are aimed towards Apple customers so when it comes to targeting those people on Facebook, it's dead easy to do because obviously it's pretty obvious um, who you're gonna be targeting or what kind of interest you're gonna be targeting. And just to give you some background information then, all the numbers you see on the screen by the way will be Shopify verified um, just to show you that as you can see there. Um, it is a drop shipping business, however, they are focusing on the US market and they ship all of their goods USPS three to five day shipping, which tells me that their supplier, their fulfillment setup must be somewhere in the US too to get that quick shipping. Um, all the numbers, like I said, are verified and these guys on average then are doing about 125 grand a month. Um, and if we just go through the revenue then for the past 12 months, they're doing six figures pretty consistently every month more or less with their best month then being in April 2019, which was nearly $700,000, which is obviously um, pretty good. The next point I want to show you, which is pretty interesting, is the total traffic, which is only 850,000 visits. Now, the reason I say that then is because most of the stores I look at, and certainly my own stores, they tend to operate at about, say, $1 or one pound per visit on average. Now, that's a rough ball number. If you're not achieving that, then it doesn't matter. As long as you're making profit, that's the most important thing. But what this tells me then is that these guys must have a pretty decent conversion rate in order to generate nearly $2 million and with only 850,000 visits. So all that being said then let's actually take a look at their store the interesting part if we go back to the home page I just want to show you kind of how simplistic and easy the website is if that makes sense there's no crazy colors it's just simple to the point um, and all the information on the screen is there for a reason because it helps sell the products. So if we just use Commerce Inspector then to go straight to the best selling you can see these guys only sell two different products and they're able to produce some pretty awesome results. As you can see as well, that both of these products are focused on Apple customers, they're for Apple products. And I particularly like this AMP Watch Boost um, product here, to be honest, I've never seen it before. Um, if you've got an iWatch, you'll know that the actual charger itself, well, for a start, the watch doesn't last very long battery-wise, and then the charger, the cable's like half a mile long, so to wrap it up and take it with you is quite an ordeal, whereas this looks quite convenient, to be honest. The fact that it just clips on your key ring and you can charge your watch whenever you need it um, is a pretty cool product, um, in my opinion. So what I want to show you next then is their Facebook page and the kind of content that they're producing because what stands out in every single store that you'll see that produces good results is the fact that their content won't be found anywhere else. It's custom content, they've bought the product, they've invested in it and they've probably paid a decent video designer to create something um, like this for them. What also stands out to me as well is that most stores or successful stores, as I've just shown you here, will have some form of contact details that just legitimize the business basically, whether it's an address, a phone number. Um, if you can invest in those services, you don't have to put your own home address, you can pay for virtual offices, you can get PO boxes, you can get automated answering, um, answer phone messages. All, there's so many different services that you can pay for that are usually dead cheap, like 10, 20, 30 pounds a month, but they'll just completely transform how professional your store is and how it comes across to customers. Ultimately, customers need to trust you before they buy from you. Just keep that in mind. So what I've done then is I've found their products on AliExpress. So you can get an idea then of, if we go back to their actual products, you can get an idea then of the kind of profit margins that these guys are working on. So to start with the AMP station then, it's this product here. You can see at the very most, they're gonna be paying $22. Um, and they're selling it for about 60. So there's more or less $25, $30 room in there for their Facebook cost per purchase, which is a pretty healthy amount. If you can operate on 10 pound CPAs, um, $10 CPAs, then you're gonna be making about $15, $20 profit per order, which is again, pretty healthy. 
The next product then is this keyring um, portable Apple Watch wireless charger, which is one of my favorite products actually. Now, what strikes me is the fact that the profit margins on this product aren't actually that good. If you look at here, um, you can see that's $11 and these guys are only selling it for $20, I believe. So what I think is going on here is they're using this amp station as their base product, the products they use to get people onto their site, and then they're using this amp watch boost as an upsell um, as an upsell offer, which is a great way to do things because if you can get somebody to commit to spending $60 with you, getting them to spend that extra $20 is gonna be quite easy and I imagine their conversion rate is gonna be pretty decent on that as well. So that being said then guys, that's store number one. I hope you enjoyed it. Moving on to store number two is the Ultimate Cuff. Again, another site that's based on making money off the back of Apple consumers. Um, they're asking 300 grand for it and their average monthly revenue is $54,000. If we go down to the numbers then, in fact, one thing that I get asked quite a lot, in fact, I might do a video on this topic, is how many hours it actually takes to run a dropshipping business. And these guys state here that it takes them approximately 10 hours per week. So. And depending on how much you actually want to automate, I've just noticed that um, they have a customer service person in the Philippines, they're obviously doing most of the outsourcing, most of that, then 10 hours is pretty reasonable to be honest. You could get it even lower than that if you choose to, if you really wanted to. Um, monthly revenue wise then, they're averaging 55 grand and in the past 12 months they've done 2.4 million with their best month at about a quarter of a million. So again, a pretty healthy business. And these guys are still consistently turning over about 20 grand a month. So again, not bad, but the chances are they're probably not running ads if they're trying to sell the store and they're still seeing sales, which is awesome. Total traffic, 1.7 million. And as you can see, that's kind of more in line with that rough ball, um, ballpark figure of $1 per visit. So let's take a look at their store then, which is in my opinion, a better store than the previous one we just looked at. There's more time and effort and better content and photos gone into this. And again, if we go straight to their best-selling products, application error, um, so for whatever reason, Commerce Inspector isn't working. But what I want to show you then is their main products, which is not the watch itself, but what they're actually selling is the band. So if you've ever had an Apple Watch yourself, you'll know that the bands are pretty crap on them. Um, they get really dirty really quickly and then they kind of deteriorate a little bit and they start to look pretty manky considering it's like a 300 quid watch, um, which forces you then to buy a new one. And if you go to Apple themselves, they charge you an absolute fortune. So these guys have obviously spotted that um, and they've come across these products which they're sourcing, which look, which make, which kind of like snazz up the watch a bit. It makes it look more like a piece of jewelry um, and just look better. And obviously they're not charging a crazy amount too. So these guys are selling it for $74 then. If we just have a look at the ad library at the actual ad, they're running to produce the kind of results that we've just seen. Um, it's really quite simple in my opinion. But again, this is custom content. They've created it themselves, it's original content, and it's just straightforward. It is literally just somebody with it on their wrist, rotating their wrist, as you can see, dead simple and yet effective, which is proven by the numbers. I've actually found this product on AliExpress too, so you can see the kind of profit margin these guys are working on, which is just absolutely crazy. They're selling it for $70, remember, and it's costing them less than $10. Now. I'm not saying that these guys are sourcing it from this exact supplier and this is the price they're paying, but what I'm saying is you can source something very similar for about $10. Looking at the numbers those guys have produced, the chances are they're working with an agent that has a whole factory full of them. So to be honest, in reality, they're probably paying less than that. Um, so the profit margins are just absolutely crazy good. Um, if you Again, if you can achieve a £10 cost per purchase, then you're looking at $50 to $60 profit per order, um, obviously minus any taxes or running expenses. So that's store number two then. Moving into store number three is a jewellery store again, in fact, called Myth of Eastern. These guys are only asking $25,000, and yet their monthly revenue on average was similar to the store that we just seen. Let's give you some background information then on these guys. Um, they were founded over two years ago, and apparently 170 hours per week is required to run this business. I can't believe that I'll be right, but you never know. Uh, average monthly revenue then is 50 grand and with 1.4 million then in the past 12 months at Prox, their best month being at $150,000. Um, and based on the profit margins, these guys are working on to 30%. Most people will probably only have to have one month like these guys had in August, um, and that's like the average wage. That's better than the average wage in the UK. Total traffic, 1.4 million, which you can see is almost bang on um, that rough ballpark number I gave you of $1 per visit. 
Moving on to their store then, um, it's quite a nice store. To be honest, probably the best one of the three we've seen. They've got kind of like a pretty cool picture here, collection list, which is interactive. Um, lots of different products on their store. But what we're interested then in is their best selling products. If you guys are watching this video and you're not sure what products to go with, then there's plenty in this video that you've seen that people are selling successfully that you can then go out and put on your own stores too. So product number one then is this bracelet here, but you get two pieces, so you're not paying for the watch, you're just paying for these two bracelets here, and they're charging $22. I tried to find the exact copy on AliExpress, but I couldn't do it. I have actually sold similar products like this myself in the past, um, and again, the profit margins are absolutely awesome. So $22 they're selling it for, and at most, at the very most, I reckon they're gonna be paying about two, three dollars delivered. Now you might be thinking that the profit margins aren't that great, it only leaves kind of like $17, $18 um, room in there, minus obviously your Facebook cost per purchase. But with products like this, then people tend to buy more than one. They might even buy two or three, or even combine it with a product like this. So they might buy this for themselves, if it's a bloke, um, and then get this for their girlfriend. Um, just to show you this product too, they're selling it for a similar price at $22. I have actually been able to find the exact copy, which they're selling for $6. So again, the profit margins aren't actually that good. But like I said, if they're paying £10 cost per purchase, then that leaves them with $8 on the first products we saw, and it also leaves them with the extra $20 they'll get for this purchase, if that makes sense. What I'm trying to say is that when it comes to jewelry and little things like this, then people tend to buy one, two, or three, or even four different products. Back when I first started, I used to sell um, this turquoise bracelet. I don't think I've got it with me now, uh, but somebody bought 50 of them, believe it or not, and they were all different charms, and it was coming up to Christmas, and and they thought it'd just be a nice thing to do to buy a ton of them and give one to each member of the family. So you never know um, what the potential is. Just to point out to you guys again, um, going back to the point I made of contact details, these guys have got a contact us page and they've also got a phone number at the top too. Honestly, by provide, and they've got it at the bottom, so no matter where they go on the page, whether it's at the top or the bottom, they can clearly see that if there's any issues with their orders whatsoever, there's a phone number they can call, there's an email address they can get on, and there's an actual address too. I can't stress enough how much trust is such an important factor when it comes to dropshipping, when it comes to advertising on Facebook. Anyway, with that being said, guys, that's all three stores. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're still watching. If you are, thank you very much. Please drop the video a like if you enjoyed it. And of course, for that chance to win the call then, uh, make sure you leave a comment down below as well. Um, and that being said, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. So here we are then on my previous video, how to pick winning products to drop ship and sell using Facebook ads. Again, if you still haven't found a product, I know I mentioned this earlier, make sure you check this video out because I truly believe it's gonna help you out a lot and it will completely transform your way of thinking um, when it comes to looking at different products. Anyway, we're here to announce the winner, so I'm just gonna take the URL, head over to our random comment picker. 53 unique comments, which is absolutely awesome, so thank you very much. We're fast approaching 10,000 subs, which is gonna be awesome. And the winner then of the previous video is Pete. So thank you very much, Pete, for your comment. Hit me up on Instagram, we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you just wanna get straight down to business, book a call right away um, in the next couple of days, you can do so. Um, just make sure you check out the link in the video description below. And that being said then, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.